Hi, I'm a kitten. I'm cute. Subscribe to the OGGM blog so he stops using me to shill his vlog. I'm cute. Good morning and welcome. It's the OGGM on a very out of focus camera. I don't know what's going on. I hate this camera. But you people wanted to see more movement. Uh, it's Monday. It is the 15th day of August 2022. It's about uh, 9 o'clock in the morning and it's time for bundles. All the freebies and bundles and PDFs that are available for you this week. And as always, I will say which ones I think you should get which ones I think you should avoid. And of course, in regards to the charities and specific artists, generally I feel it's better just to give the money to the charities directly instead of the bundles. And if there's a product you want, just order it directly from the artist instead of through a third party. Uh, because that way, you know, the charity gets the money right away and they know it's from you. And the artist gets the money right away and they know it's from you as opposed to working through a third party and a bundle. Anyways. And remember, as always, these are PDFs, so before you download any of these, check them for viruses. All right, this week's freebies is uh, we have the Pocket Quest 2020 from Drive-Thru RPG. This was a uh, contest that they ran where you had to come up with a 20-page adventure centered around the theme of summer camp. There's about 100 titles. All of them are available on Drive-Thru. It's pay what you want or $12. Uh, I assume a lot of these are going to be horror based or stuff like that. If you're a fan of Dungeon Crawl Classics, which I am, Mark Tasca has added a Dungeon Crawl Classics Eastern Adventures to give sort of an Asian theme to DCC and include some Asian themed adventures and Asian themed races and the kind of things that'll get him in trouble for being racist. And this is on drive through for free. So if you're looking to add a little ninja soup and stuff action to your DCC, here you go. Void Empire is a science fiction role-playing game using a 2D6 system is available. The full core rulebook can be purchased for absolutely nothing on drive through uh, So it's a 2D6 science fiction game, brand new, and they're looking to see what people think about it, I guess. Sean O'Neill has released a series of adventures for the Monsters of the Week setting. Uh, we've got Five Nights at Goodman's, which is basically a Five Nights at Freddy's. Uh, Unbearably Lost, where the party goes up against a horrific version of Yogi the Bear. And Time to Face the Music, where the party goes up against a puppet variety show. Because that's never been done before. Anyways, these are all available over on Drive Through, And they're all uh, free. RV Games has some new options for Mothership. I just got my copy of the Mothership uh, Starter Gate thing. Uh, so if you're looking for some adventures for Mothership, uh, you can get them over on, I'm going to guess, drive through. Uh, so uh, we have a mini game about lock picking uh, to add to your. Um, various fantasy games. Uh, the creator of this says, well, you know how in games like Skyrim you have to do a mini game to pick a lock? How come that doesn't exist in normal role playing? So now here's a rule set where you could have a mini game inside your role playing game where you can pick a lock. I don't know, is there a market for that? Uh, there's something called Science Based Starships and Colonies by Raymond Towers. This is to help people get uh, a more realistic look at uh, what science fiction type stuff would look like. This is on drive through. So it's a whole bunch of blueprints and information on sp spacey stuff. From the DMs Guild, we have a new domain for, of dread for Ravenloft. Uh, it's a world of carefree childhood adventure twisted into something more sinister called Neverland, a Ravenloft domain of dread. So basically, uh, Peter Pan as a uh, lord of a domain of dread in Ravenloft. That actually, you know, a lot of people have reimagined Peter Pan as a horror scenario. And when you think about it, it kind of is. Uh, Penny Blake has an adventure for us called Cupcakes of Doom, where you are invited to the birthday party of a lich. This is on DM's Guild. Uh, so I guess it's a 
poking fun at the whole cupcake phenomenon in 5e over the last year uh, and saying, well, now here's a, a lich that wants you to come to his birthday party and he's offering you cupcakes of doom. Uh, Storyteller's Vault has got some new stuff for World of Darkness. These are Brazil themed. It's called Rectify by Night and it's by Carlos Torres. Um, so yeah. Modifius ha or Mophidius has a bundle up on, uh, I'm going to say, their own company. So if you're looking for 20% off on all the uh, Modifius products or Mophidius products that won Ennies, they've got a huge sale going on right now. So every product that was nominated for an Ennie Award uh, by Mophidius, you get 20% off of. Uh, Evil Hat has a summer sale going on, offering 20% off their entire products. Uh, there's a bundle for um, a upcoming convention that includes a bunch of work by authors from Singapore. 13 adventures uh, for Adventure League play. The bundle goes to support Lion City Conclave. And for some reason, a bunch of the authors are um, from Singapore. Uh, is Lion City conclave held in Singapore and that's why that's important it must be it so they're looking to support their convention by putting out a collection of adventures notice notably by uh, Singapore authors who will be at Lion City conclave which I'm assuming is held in Singapore but let's double check to be sure doesn't say uh, so if anybody knows whether that's true or not, let me know. That's just my assumption. I could be wrong. All right. This week's charity bundles. We have a Munchkin charity bottle bundle from John Kolvik. Uh, this is a bunch of stuff for Munchkin PDF cards that you can pr print out. On, it goes to support uh, food banks. We've got a bundle for a Powered by the Apocalypse for Life Among the Runes. This is uh, all the core rule books you need. For to play uh, Powered by the Apocalypse, Life Among the Runes, a I guess a post-apocalypse Powered by the Apocalypse game. It's ten dollars for this bundle. Have I not been saying the prices? No, I haven't. And then we have the second bundle with all the expansions for fifteen dollars. We've got a BattleTech bundle on Bundle of Holding uh, for thirteen dollars, which is everything you need to start uh, a BattleTech campaign, all in PDF. We have the legendary epic monster bundle still on bundle of holding. This is a whole bunch of 20th level monsters and encounters for 5e for $13. That's totally pointless because, you know, your average 8th level character, as I have proven, can kill a 20th level bad guy in two rounds. So, yeah, there's no reason to make epic characters. Uh, we've got a map spectacular bundle with a massive collection of map mapping software on humble bundle uh so if you're looking for a whole bunch of things like city designer dungeon designer campaign cartographer, and other toolkits this is 30 dollars, and it gives you all the programs which you have to download install check for uh viruses and then hope it works on your computer this goes to support uh ch charities that protect the ocean a massive collection of classic essential fantasy RPG bundles. This is includes a whole bunch of stuff for OSE, Old School Essentials, and the OSR. It's $10 for this bundle, and it goes to support the Children's Hospital. And that's it for bundles. Um, anyways, yeah, uh, the Modifius one is 20% off. The Evil Hat one is 20% off. The DM's Guild one for Bundle of City of Conclave is $34. Uh, the Munchkin one, it doesn't say what the price is, but that goes to support Fair Share uh, Food Banks. The Legacy Life Amongst the Ruins is $10 and $15. Uh, and that goes to support the artist directly. Uh, we've got the uh, Epic Bundles of Unnecessary Monsters that goes to support the artist directly for $13. We've got the Battletech one that goes to support the artist directly for $13. We've got the map one, which supports uh, Oceana Protecting the World Oceans charity for $25. And we've got the 
old school essentials one for ten dollars that goes to support children's hospitals in case that's because i didn't thing so the only one that looks interesting to me is um the modifius one so we have octon cthulhu we've got the octon cthulhu uh 2d20 game master's guide for nine ten dollars off we've got the octon cthulhu uh pdf for five dollars off we've got the dune um Standard edition for $11 off, and that appears to be it. Oh, and the Star Trek thing for $9 off. Um, so it's only the any Awards that were uh, mo nominated that were Modifius-centric, so no other company's stuff, just uh, Octon Cthulhu, Dune, and Star Trek. Uh, and those are physical products as well as PDFs. So as I said, on the rare occasions that there's a physical product, I will let you know. So if any of those sound interesting to you, just chat out on over to Drive Through, Humble Bundle, or Bundle of Holding. As always, if you want to support a charity like uh, food banks, just support the charity directly. Don't get the bundle. If there's a specific thing you want to get, like a Dune, and it's you know ten dollars off, get it from Modifius. Don't get it through a bundle. Not that I don't want to support the bundles, but it's your money. And I think if you want to support a charity, you should just give the money to charity. But what do I know is because I'm blatantly using a kitten to shill my vlog. So obviously anything I say should be taken with a grain of salt. That's it for today. If any of these products sound great, let me know. Uh, if you want to hear more, let me know. If you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe. Help me hit a thousand subs. Give the kitten a break. He's tired of me using him to shill my vlog. I'm the OGGM. Thanks for being part of this adventure. Have a great day.